welcome back to my channel guys this is Penhead today he's uh, working night shift so we're open at 5 p.m. today so last night uh, I think they have a problem on 29 let's take a look so, Eddie can you look at 29 and 21 29, 29 is apparently dropping 5 pin on wrist pad okay so let's check that one out first let's go and check 29 we're going to lane 29 and check it out Five. So I think I know what's the problem. The frame bent, went up, and the finger is bent. Look at that. It's not supposed to be like that. So. I will change that one, put on a rebuilt one. So let's get a respect cell and the tools. Well first, we're gonna cycle it first and check. So we have a rebuilt wrist spot here, wrist spot cell hanging on the wall. Take out this one. And here is the tool you need. Allen wrench and uh, half inch. Make sure this one is grinded thin. If it's too fat, then the, when you try to take out the pivot pin sometimes it's uh, hit the, the frame so better to grind so it can fit so that's the five pin look at that pin frame look at the finger and the finger yeah it's bad so first thing you do pop this one out so easy there you go and uh, allen wrench and half inch half inch there
Okay. Pivot pin screw is out. Then there's three more here. One. There's three more here. One, two, three right there. One screw it's out again. Another screw. One more. So that's four screw, one in pivot, one screw, two, three, four. Then it's, we can pull it out now. Look, look that it's uh, let's F out. So we will put the new one. Reverse procedure. in make sure your pivot pin goes through so there you go it's in then you put your mount screw allen wrench let's see Do not tighten it yet, just not to tighten, just do it like that so you can put the rest of the screw then tighten it. Now you can tighten it all of them now. There's tight. It's tight. Where's the other screw? Here we go. And there's one more here. On this side. Now we can tighten the pivot pin.
tight. And um, we can put the carb. Okay, we will put the carb. Carb link. Put it there, then and push. It will click. There you go. And examine. So we test and run. So we will test it. Tighten the machine to first ball. You'll see if uh, it will pick it up. Pick up. Put in the first ball again and we will knock, knock all the pins. This is the wrist pad cell I replace on five. Yeah, just like that in the machine. So it really not pick up the pins if it's like that. So one, this truck, this uh, also bent the frame and the finger. So I'm gonna disassemble everything, disassemble everything and rebuild. Maybe just uh, this frame uh, garbage and you know, Ah, uh, well, you can't really bend here, so just put a new one. I uh, just disassemble thing, I clean everything here, check and spec. Sometimes the screw, when you, when you take out the screw, sometimes it's broken. So everything is, uh, must disassemble and spec. So we're done on 29, so look at uh, 21 is apparently dropping pins while sitting, a new rack, didn't find out until after close, so yeah, I'll check it out. So this pin I found in 21, it has a bad base, this is the one that's always dropping. See that uh, little uh, chip there? That's the one. When I cycle the machine, this pin, this pin falls. Wobbly. Wobbly. Slow motion. Too. It's okay if it's like that, but the machine sometimes it go a little shake but it's really bad okay you're out of your pin you can grind the bottom if you want but just replace a new one looks like it's drunk okay by pins so after an hour we open uh, practice called me and they said they need is not 
picking up pins so uh, we moved them to lane 7 so I went there and check it out and I found that uh, on respot cells at lay uh, respot cell 1 the pivot pin bent like this so that's the causing the problem why all the pins will not pick up by the respot cell so I went there and uh, pull it out and change the, the, the pivot pin it's bent pretty bad so this is the pivot pin that I replaced it's the causing the problem so the wire is not picking up all the pins so I replaced that one and they're using it right now and it's good all good That's it for today and uh, Penhead signing out and I'll see you again on my next video. See you around. Bye.